Hello, today we're going to run through the double check valve assembly test using the Mako MK5 5 valve test kit. The first step is to flush the test cocks by opening and then closing test cock number one, then number two, then number three, and finally number four. Attach a bleed-off valve arrangement or compensation valve to test cock number two. If test cock number three is not at the highest point of the check valve body, then a vertical tube or pipe must be installed on test cock number three so that it rises to the top of the check valve body. Power on the Mako by pressing and holding the power button. Toggle on the backlight if you desire. Press and hold the back button to clear any save values and verify that all the MK5 valves are closed. Connect the hose from the high side of the MK5 to the bleed off valve on test cock number two. Open test cock number two. Go ahead and open the high bleed valve Make sure that any air that may be trapped in the gauge or in the hoses is cleared. Then close the high bleed valve. Open test cock number three and fill the sight tube with water. Close test cock number three. Close shutoff valve number two. Then elevate the MK5's rate of change graph to be level with the top of the sight tube. Close shutoff valve number one. Open test cock number three. Once water has stopped flowing from the test cock and the reading on the gauge is stable, press the capture button to record the pressure differential across the check valve. Close all test cocks. And remove all test equipment before proceeding with the second part of the test, the test of check valve number two. If test cock number four is not at the highest point of the check valve body, then a vertical tube or pipe must be installed on test cock number four so that it rises to the top of the check valve body. Attach the bleed off valve arrangement to test cock number three. Connect the high side hose from the MK5 to the bleed off valve on test cock number three. And go ahead and open test cock number three. Open the high bleed valve to again remove any air that may be trapped in the hose or in the gauge. Close the high bleed valve. Open test cock number four and fill the sight tube with water. Elevate the MK5 so that the rate of change graph is level with the top of the sight tube. Close shut off valve number one. Open test cock number four. Once water has stopped flowing from the test cock and the reading on the gauge is stable, press the capture button to record the pressure differential across the check valve. Close all test cocks. Remove all test equipment. Slowly open shutoff valve number one and open shutoff valve number two. And now you're ready to test more backflows with makeup. <laughs>